When I'm desoldering components on single-sided boards, I usually use um, a solder sucker, this one, which I've had for years. And, uh, and on single-sided boards, this is really effective. I've had, never had any problems on strip boards or, or even single-sided PCBs taking components off with this. However, on double-sided boards, like this board, I want to take off this uh, connector on the side because it's getting in the way of my project. Uh, but because it's double-sided board, so the solder goes through to the top side as well. Uh, and that means that like the solder sucker that I use for single-sided boards um, is not very effective on these uh, and, and it's virtually impossible. Um, it just makes a mess of the board, risks damaging the board as well. Uh, I recently found this tool on eBay. Uh, it costs £20, so it's really cheap uh, and I like cheap. Um, and it's got a heated tip here, but it's also uh, got a hole in the end of the, um, the nozzle and it has a button here and it's basically just a, an oversized uh, one of these solder suckers but because it's mains powered uh, the suction on it's really good and also um, you don't have to have a soldering iron at one angle and a solder sucker at another angle trying to suck the solder out uh, you can place it vertically and it will suck the solder vertically straight up into the into the nozzle and that makes a, a lot of an easier job. It's still a cheap tool, £20, so it's not going to be uh, a first-class um, desoldering tool. Uh, but from what I've used so far, it, it does a good job, and I'll demonstrate on this board taking that connector off. So the actual tool comes with a plug like this. It comes with an adapter, and these adapters are highly illegal. Uh, it doesn't uh, fit safety standards for a number of reasons. Firstly, the gap between the pins and the, the edge of the the uh, plug that's they are totally illegal in the UK uh, but more moreover the uh, the actual live mains is exposed in there so a child's finger I mean my finger won't fit in there but a child's finger could fit in there but even just uh, anything metal go, going in there will make the mains um, exposed uh, so be careful when you get these um, because you shouldn't use them because they're they're extremely dangerous and uh, also highly illegal in the UK. There's quite a bit of thermal mass in the in the tip, so you need to leave it on for quite a while before using it. And uh, if you just uh, check it with some solder, make sure that solder melts on the end. Uh, but once it's uh, if it's just got up to temperature where it melts the solder, give it a bit a bit longer than that to to actually heat up. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll turn the board over and I'll try and do this without knocking the camera also without burning myself um, so what I do is I tend to add a bit of solder to the tip first uh, because that gives that, that gives a bit of flux and, and the new solder uh, helps to flow the, the solder in the joint and you hold it on on there for a little while and then you oops I that was a mistake I shouldn't have, I, you shouldn't release um, <laughs> before before you take the device away from it because otherwise it spurts the solder back on so that that's better i'll need to clean that up uh, but yeah i'm not used to <laughs> i'm not used to the process yet because i that, i forgot to do that the first time I, I tried this out um so again add a bit of solder put the device over for a little while and then hold and then release when it's further away and that actually removes the solder quite well And it even uh, removes the solder from these big uh, lugs quite well as well. I'm just going to get a pair of pliers because I need to straighten those lugs up, up a bit. Okay, so I'm just going to straighten these up a bit with the pair of pliers. Now, I think these lugs do actually fit in the nozzle, but it shouldn't be necessary, I think. Uh, I'm just straightening these up so to get them out of the way of the solder so that I can get around them and hopefully suck the solder out from, uh, from around them. And add a bit of uh, solder to the tip first. Need to have enough time on there in order to melt the solder. See, that's that's done quite a good job on that. It's actually a really good tool for, for twenty pounds. It uh, gives a fantastic result from what I've used. I've only used it 
to remove one of these connectors before. Um, but after that, you may need just a, like a screwdriver just to make sure that the connectors are all loose. And from, from the edge, I might need to just heat that up. I'm going to just use a tool just to heat it up and move the tag away from the side because it's uh, soldered onto the side a bit. But apart from that, it's, I think it's free. That one's free. I'm just going to do that one again. Oh, it's still a bit of solder in there. So just try heating that up again. That's better. Okay, I just left a bit of solder in there, so that's the way. So look, that's, that just comes out cleanly. Look how clean that is. Now if I do use the other solder sucker, okay, I've got a bit of debris on there where I messed up first, but that scrapes off quite easily. Um, but if I'd use the other solder stuff, so I would have probably been lifting tracks and stuff. But that's come out so cleanly, and you could even, I mean, that's clean enough to, to use that component again. That's nice. And I've got this, this um, solder sucking device because I, when I saw it on eBay and it was so cheap for £20, I thought, I need something to repair my arcade machine boards, and uh, this might just do the job. And so far, it's been really good.